Welcome to a short introduction on OCCT. Most of you will be like, what? Let me explain. I stumbled across this one on Reddit and it is a stability testing program for your computer. It is similar to Prime95, Firmwork and Memtest. You've heard that one right. You can use OCCT as a toolbox for all kinds of overclockable components, stability testing. There has been much debate on the overclocking subreddit. We also did our own tests to arrive at some sort of semi-conclusion. Feel free to add your own experience in the comment section down below. After downloading the current version, you can simply launch the .exe file and will be greeted with a powerful interface. On the left hand side, you can see the CPU usage, physical memory load and right next to it the GPU load and memory usage. Right next to that you can see all sorts of graphs, ranging from temperature to voltage, the frequency and so forth. You can choose between graphs and tables, group them by device and select which of those devices you want to have displayed. OCCT gets this information by utilizing the HWinfo tool. For more information on HWinfo, check the link in the info cards. In terms of convenience, this is very convenient. Usually, when you run a different stress testing tool, you want to fire up another monitoring program that has not all the desired information displayed. So this is a nice out of the box functionality. Now let's get to the important stuff, the test section. You can find it on the lower left hand corner and when you're using the free license, the tests will only run for an hour. Admittedly, if you have serious flaws and system stability issues, they will most likely pop up within that hour. If you're in doubt, however, consider getting the personal license, which is 25 bucks for a year or 5 for a single month. There might even be something else than a subscription-based license model in the future, according to the developer on a Reddit post. It should be noted that this is a one-man show and the guy that is developing this tool is very passionate about it. Please also note that we are not sponsored, we simply like the fact that it is a powerful and easy to use program at the same time for stability testing. Even though the 6 test categories should be self-explanatory, you can find an overview on the homepage FAQ section that provides some information which component will be stressed how much in which test. As a starting point for CPU stability testing, you can go with the default settings, meaning large data set, normal mode, variable load type and auto instruction set as well as auto threads. If you want, you can even test single cores which you can select beforehand. If you are afraid of frying components, you can select a maximum temperature in the settings menu. In case you will receive an error during the tests, there will be a notification. Usually error messages are caused by clock speeds being too high, voltages being too low or simply too high temperatures in your case. Some final thoughts on stability testing. Never rely on a single test alone, please consider using additional tools like Prime95 for CPU, Memtest for the memory or Firmark for your GPU. If your PC is stable in everyday usage, like video games or video editing, and you receive an error message in stability testing, that might not necessarily be a cause for concern. Stability tests always aim at showing the smallest weaknesses, in case you need absolute reliability on your system. Thanks for watching this short introduction on OCCT, leave your comments and thoughts down below, also subscribe to help the channel and we will see you in the next one.